Welcome to Evolve, Reinventing Leadership, Building Freedom Cultures, with thought leader and award-winning author, Yvette Bethel. This podcast provides you with insights and ideas you can use to reinvent your culture through trust and the principles of interconnectivity, flow, and balance. At a time when the world is rewriting the rules of work, traditional leadership practices are not enough. It's time to perceive persistent challenges through a new lens. It's time to evolve. Hello, and welcome once again to Evolve. I'm Yvette Bethel, and in this episode, we will explore two different work ethics and what the modern workplace calls for. The traditional work ethic is centered on working hard to achieve results. When we choose to shift to an ecosystem approach to leading based on trust, working smart is more relevant. This is because when trust is present, there's more room for innovation, connection, and initiative, even when the budget might be limited. I constantly hear employees lament about how hard they work and how their hard work is not noticed. This is because many people around them are working just as hard. So it has so so, so it's become a basic expectation, not a distinguishing characteristic. Hard work is part of the traditional equation for success but there are people who automate or delegate. Others have figured out how to work three-day work weeks that are equally productive. I would dare to assert that time plus hard work equals results is an outmoded formula for results. In place of it, I would submit a more holistic, multidimensional formula that's more responsive, something like smart work plus interpersonal skills, plus adaptability, plus value placed on the task or activity, very important, plus self-discipline equals results. In this extended equation, hard work is replaced with smart work. And the time element was removed because time spent is not always a primary indicator of balanced outcomes. People who are stressed and burnt out can attest to this. Interpersonal skills were added to the equation because demonstrating emotional intelligence is an equally important component of enhancing your results. This is because most roles are part of an end-to-end process that extends beyond the contribution of one person. Another reason why working hard is becoming outmoded as a work ethic is because uncertainty, competition, and other external pressures are causing companies to focus more and more on reducing costs. This means companies expect better efficiency ratios, which translate into higher productivity from employees who are expected to do more with the same or less resources. With this in mind, if you're constantly working late, your boss may not view your hard work and dedication in the same way as before if your results are not growing satisfactorily. Executives expect increased productivity, especially if profit margins are shrinking. So if you wait for additional resources, you may be in for a very long wait. Now, don't get me wrong. Hard work and smart work can coexist. There are employees who work hard who are quite productive. Sometimes this happens because they're pulling someone else's weight or because they love what they do. But at some point, they will arrive at a threshold where their capacity will plateau and they will have to find new ways to work to meet constantly growing demands. There is one more category of hard workers who can benefit from updating their work ethic. There are employees who appear to be working hard You can see their effort, but they're really spinning wheels. This is sometimes attributable to a lack of proper training, a lack of interest in the role or the company, or some past experience that lowered their trust in their coworkers or their employer. Whatever the reason for being in a holding pattern like this, 
it's time to consider working smarter or a new career or job. So when we come back, we will explore several tips for working smarter. Organizational Soul is a mission-driven organization and network where we specialize in trust in academia, families, and organizations. We are building a community of leaders who are interested in trust and culture. If you are interested in our updates, you can sign up for our newsletter at orgsoul.com. As a thank you for joining our community, you can access our free resources that are designed to help you build your brand as a trusted leader as you contribute to safe space. Sign up now at orgsoul.com. Hello, this is Yvette Bethel and welcome back to Evolve. So let's dive into the smart work ethic. Working smarter means working in ways that can open your capacity. This can happen by changing the way that you prioritize your work and through automation, delegation, or restructuring, as we, I mentioned before. Working smart is a gift that you give to yourself because it has the potential to save time that you can use for more balance in your life or to learn and grow in your role. Here are a few tips you can use to work smarter. The first one, know the difference between being a team player and being used. There are many people who at one time or another thought that their managers or team members had confidence in them because they gave them a constant stream of work, knowing that they would get it done. While being a team player is important, you need to determine if A, you're really part of the team and you're being developed, or B, if you're being used. If you are being used, your time is being used so that others can work smart. Employees who are chronic doers can easily get caught in this trap. Next, uh, learn the art of saying no. The bottom line is that you should not take on more than you can manage because eventually your lack of boundary setting can lead to an experience of reduced personal performance levels. Jory Desjardins once stated that you should try to make your boss happy and if you can't, then move on. But I think being overly focused on a moving mysterious target is not healthy. Next tip for working smart is that if you can delegate, identify what you should delegate, keep, or share. If you delegate or share any of your work, be sure to have an organized, reliable system to follow up to ensure that you really are working smart. The next step is get organized. I've witnessed transformations in stress levels and productivity with the introduction of prioritized to-do lists and diary systems. Getting organized helps you to ensure that you focus on the right things at the right time. Additionally, it helps to zoom out to the big picture so you can renegotiate timelines instead of getting lost in the fear caused by the growing list of tasks assigned to you. Please remember that getting organized is contingent on your ability to be disciplined about creating your lists. The next tip is that whether you're a manager or employee, if you're humble, approachable, and well-connected, you will get things done faster through people than difficult team members. The next tip, upgrade your technological skills within the scope of your role. The world is becoming increasingly, increasingly tech savvy. So if you're not able to use technology optimally, you will not be aware of tools and other resources which can make your life a whole lot easier. Another tip is that uh, work-life balance is another route to working smart. Taking breaks gives you time to perceive your work from a different perspective. Time off also helps you to tap into your creativity. Many great ideas happen when you're away from work. So if you're going to focus on how to become more productive, try to find some time to zoom in on how you can make meaningful changes 
that can lead to increased productivity and innovation. And finally, ask again and again for the tools you need. The previous no may change into a yes given different circumstances or a modified approach by you. Bob Stoops once asserted that just because what we've done in the past has worked and worked well, it doesn't mean that it will continue to. We've really got to be smart in what we're attempting to do. What Stoops is asserting is that we should be open to modifying how we think about how we do what we do. Keeping your hard work and smart work in an ideal state of balance is what you can aim for. Sometimes the hard work is unavoidable, but there may be opportunities to transform it into smart work over time. Finally, it's also important to reinforce that while results do matter, how you treat yourself, your employees, and coworkers as you shift to working smarter is of equal importance. This has been Yvette Bethel, and you can learn more about and contact me at www.orgsoul.com. That's O-R-G-S-O-U-L.com. You can also connect with me at Yvette Bethel on LinkedIn. So with that, I say thank you for joining me for this episode of Evolve. And I invite you to join me next time at Evolve, Reinventing Leadership, Building Freedom Cultures. Thank you for listening to Evolve, Reinventing Leadership, Building Freedom Cultures. Learn more about our proprietary trust, leadership, and culture courses and certifications at the IFB Academy. You can check them out at organizationalsoul.learnworlds.com.